Welcome to rainy Tokyo today. Um, I went to my butcher and I could buy some nice momoniku, chicken no momoniku, chicken uh, breast. So as promised, let's make this super easy uh, chicken recipe together. It was, it's a little bit hard for me to know how to call this because they call this chicken and spinach saute uh, and the sauce is it's soy sauce base so i think that's how i called uh this recipe something like soy sauce so chicken uh, chicken which i have i am soaking already in the soy sauce sauce because i want to let it soak in this is soy sauce, <clears throat> three tablespoons of soy sauce with one tablespoon of sake. You can use sake for cooking or you know that I prefer to use real sake usually. It's just so easy guys and that's ingredients that you can find at home because you just need chicken breast and spinach. Alors, for beginners, I'm going to show you, I think that usually when you get the chicken breast in your countries, it's all cleaned, meaning that depends. They take away, they cut away those hard bits. The suji, we call this suji, the kind of c'est quoi du nerf? C'est suji. I don't know how you call that, guys, and that's not good. If you cook it, then it's hard in the mouth and you don't want to eat this. So again, for beginners, always wash, I mean, rinse your chicken with cold water then i put it in the strainer to you know just the excess of water just goes away but before cutting i wipe it so i'm going to show you just lightly how you can because not everybody knows how to cook <laughs> le cartilage well kind of cartilage maybe um, I need to buy knives, guys. I've realized that my cooking knives are not good anymore. Bon, je vais couper. You know that we use... Scissors to cut meat in Japan, that's very common. So, what you want to do is cut this off. Ça glisse. Donc, what I do is that I put it under. You can, if it slides, you can hold this with some paper. Pull. You want to keep the meat so just on your board. Bon, ben voilà. See, taken already. We have a lot here. What I do usually because those, that's disgusting, guys. They just go so deep. So what I do is that I use scissors and try to extract as far as I can those hard parts because I want to keep the meat around it, right? So you just cut a little at a time following the line of this suji. See? And then it comes off. There's always at the top those like big ones that is really hard guys 
this you definitely want to get rid of okay i always keep the skin if it's organic chicken you can eat the skin of the chicken if it's not organic it's not recommended because the skin of the chicken accumulates all the tox toxins like disgusting parts the garbage of the body the tox the toxin uh, accumulating the chicken skin so if your chicken is not organic it's not recommended to keep it to eat it that's the only let's say it's a little of a pain to clean this but it's worth doing it and then you'll see the recipe is just so easy guys no worries it's just basically putting ingredients in the fry pan just grill don't voila see this one it goes A little deep you need to cut up to about here then it the more it goes into the breast the more tender it gets so you won't mind you won't feel it anymore but you took at the hard part okay voila chicken cleaning if you have any questions, see this. If you have, I think that this is really convenient huh? to use the the scissors. If you have any questions, guys, in a comment. But if I don't see the comment, you can also put your questions. Attends, on est en zoom là. You can put your questions after the video. Alors. Tu, ben, en fait, you eat this, it's hard. It's not pleasant, I think, in the mouth. So that's why, le tendon, voilà, c'est ça. C'est le tendon. Merci, David. Um... It's hard, it's not good. So guys, what I've done is that I've cut my chicken breast in, in the recipe they say three to four centimeters, but I like big pieces. We keep the skin and this has been soaking in three spoons of soy sauce and one spoon of sake for half an hour. I leave it longer than they say. They say just a few minutes, but I like to leave it longer so that it takes a nice taste, you know, of sake and soy sauce. The whole and so I have you can either boil boiling is just so quick for a minute in boiling water I've put my whole and so then put it in the in cold water with some um, ice cubes to keep a vivid color that's some tip I should have shown you that because that's so easy and so quick maybe I just did the prep before so voila. now we're going to just cook everything so easy any questions Daijobu. Alors, fire on. You need a little bit of oil. I like to use um, goma abura, sesame oil. Just a few seconds, right? Are you talking about the whole and so? Yeah, about like 30 seconds to a minute maximum in boiling water, yeah to make it soft a little bit. Donc un petit peu. Allez, on va faire le cooking. Euh... 
medium to high fire just a little bit you can use olive oil or cheap oil if you don't have fancy oils and then what you do is that you just take directly from your bowl the chicken that you're going to cook on the skin side first and it's okay there is a little juice okay i mean my mixture soapy mixture that's it Well, this is going to cook for about uh, three minutes, I would say. I'm not covering it because this is a lot of liquid. And I don't want so much liquid to stay, so if it evaporates, it's good. What I'm going to do in their recipe, they don't put mini tomatoes, but you know that I have a lot. <laughs> Donc, moi j'aime for me and I think that mini tomatoes they just go so well with uh, soy sauce and chicken I'm putting them already because I like them tender and it will be a nice color addition to our dish anyways it's starting evaporating and the uh, Oh yeah, is it really, really, yeah, it started grilling, but mm, I want it a little bit more grilled. You can see that, can you see, that it's getting halfway through the meat, so I want to turn it upside down now. It smells amazing, guys. The soy sauce. And with the sake, the sake adds some sweetness. It makes the whole thing get a little sweet. The color is amazing, I think. I don't, let me check out your comments. Uncle Roger. Say qui, Uncle Roger. But when me, I'm not using a wok because I'm not cooking Chinese, mate. So. And it's Jennifer's. This is the recipe. This is Japanese, guys. Huh? I'm doing it like it's written on the recipe. Voilà, on va attendre une minute. Then we will add our spinach. I want to salt also a little bit. Oh. 
сейчас съемлю. Bon, ça sent, it smells really great, guys. Yeah, looking good. We can add our spinach so that it gets the taste of the mixture, the soy sauce and second mixture. You keep the sauce because if it gets too dry, you can add some in the course of cooking. Eh? Because I can see that it's reducing nicely. Seriously, that smells so amazing, guys. And it looks, I think this looks good. My mini tomatoes are starting cracking. I like that. Oh my God. So I'm mixing a little bit so that the vegetables get the mixture's taste. Okay. Chicken looks good, almost cooked. So these thin slices of chicken I'm going to take, I think this is cooked already guys, see how thin it is? So let's put it in the plate already. Oh my god. This smells divine. Up. This one is moving. You can see all the umami, les sucs de la viande de du meat juices has mixed nicely with the soy sauce mixture and what is great i should i forgot to i could have actually put this made a dambouli the thing is that this sauce is just going to be so amazing with. Est-ce qu'on se fait un dambouli? Bon, c'est pas grave. I've put it in a plate already. But. This, guys, can you see? With. On top of rice, it's just going to be amazing. And I have made some rice already. We can replatter after this. What are so so easy so quick ne? I don't know that that took what like five minutes. La and it smells seriously. I'm drooling, guys, because it has the sweet. Oh my god! Mm. 
It really smells good, guys. See this sauce? It naturally makes a nice sauce, guys. Now, attends, on peut aller. Maybe we can come back here. If you put this on white rice, it's just going to be so tasty. And the thing is that if you really like the sauce, you can actually put more. Uh, you can put more of the mixture to make more sauce. You know what I mean? And then you know, you can top your rice with this. Yeni, honestly, this is so easy to make. Uh, please try it, guys. This recipe is one of the first recipes I started making when I arrived in Japan because it was hard for me to read recipes uh, in Japanese. And this one was like, you know, uh, those easy ingredients. Because I'm not using the aircon these days, but with the cooking, it's getting hot here. Toli momoniku, chicken breast, about 500 grams, but you know, just. Polenso spinach. Then the mixture is sake and soy sauce. And then you need um, a little bit of oil. You could also do without oil, honestly, because of the mixture. And if you do without oil, maybe it grills it a little bit more. What you can do also, guys, at the end is that you can put some sesame seeds. If you like sesame, that works too. I added the mini tomatoes because chicken, spinach, mini tomatoes, that goes well together. Huh? There's, there's been a lot of mini tomatoes in the cooking lately but this recipe is just it's as easy as it looks right i mean that looked easy don't you think please tell me that <laughs> it is so simple if i hadn't shown you know the beginners how to make their chicken breast nice to check out you know if they are not the le tendon uh that is just so quick to make right and also beginners, don't worry. I mean, at the beginning, there are lots of things you have to think about, but then you'll get it. You will know what you have to do with your ingredients. So don't worry about that now. Easy one pot cooking is king. Yeah. Because who does the cleaning after the cooking and the eating? Right, Carrie? Now you want to limit your nanny <laughs> chores, right? Alors, would I call that a jus? Oui, c'est le jus de poulet. Um, peut-être, maybe I would call this a sauce. It's le jus, it's the juice from the meat. <laughs> but then there is the sake and soy sauce mixture. That is more like, it's a light sauce. No? Maybe. Hello, I'm going back in the comments. You know what we have? No, I have to take pictures, guys. Later on today, check out Instagram because I'm going to take a picture of this plate. And then I think I'm going to make it like a dombouli. And you will see how nice it looks. And that's how I'm going to, to enjoy it. Okay. Do you have any questions? Alors, Truck says, you are not using metal utensils in your pan. Thank you, Sensei. Beginners, yes, we do not use, we try not use uh, metal utensils in our uh, pans because those 
will damage your fry pan. Like never cut the meat directly in your fry pan or if you use like metal that will uh, spoil your teflon, <laughs> you know, that will spoil the bottom of your pan and that's really bad for the health. So thank you Craig for bringing that up. Can you marinate overnight? I would say yes, but maybe the taste will get pretty strong, but I've let it marinate for something like two hours before and that was okay. Uh, you can try it, Jeff, and if you, you do that, I mean, it's all about experiments, right? Um, as you know, I give you a base and then, like, I mean, this is the base, but then, you know, uh, I, I wanted to add mini tomatoes, I added mini tomatoes. Um, also, this kind of uh, marine, this way to, of marinating ingredients. Also, what we do very often is that we can add also sugar. In a lot of marinating in Japan, it's the same base. Uh, soy sauce, sake, you can add also milin. You can add sugar. It's really, you know, just try and you'll see it's, it gives you a very Japanese-like taste. It is Japanese. It's the way they do it. Uh, but there are so many things you can marinate, uh, even fish. I guess that this would go well with um, white fishes, like, and a little bit like, come on, see, like, for example, swordfish. I could so marinate swordfish in this. Any sake will do, yes. Even cooking sake, but you know that. <laughs> in our private live streams on Patreon, when I open the sake, then I don't drink it. So that ends up in my cooking. So that's pretty good stuff. Uh, but yeah, this will be, uh, will make an easy, very easy. You can impress your friends, I think, with this. Oh so easy and seriously the smell i haven't made this in years but that's one of my favorite recipes ever guys and um i'm going to do more cooking and especially of those old recipes that i used to make can you see like all this juice it's just so yummy ne? so i'm going to have lunch with that love it um I don't know if you if you know if it's been on the news in your countries but it seems that they are going to uh extend the state of emergency in Japan until mid September. So bon, voilà. <laughs> no comment. You know that I'm trying to stay home as much as possible seriously i've been out of my cave to buy those ingredients i think it's like it's been a week i haven't been out but tomorrow the weather also we had such a bad weather right guys tomorrow the weather is getting good the aircon will be back on <laughs> it was so nice to live without aircon actually um so there's going to be more cooking because uh Hospitals are overwhelmed here, so even if I'm vaccinated, I don't want to take any risks. Um, so there will be more cooking. Not sure what. I have the shiso, how to make shiso juice. I got more shiso, but I'm not going to do this live. So nice. I've worked a lot on the shiso and guys, you're going to get shadow. You're going to get two. It smells so good. Oh my God. I could, I can actually put some leaves on, on top of that too. It's fresh leaves of shiso with this. It's going to be amazing. Let's do that. Um, there is the recipe that you will find a lot on the internet. 
for one to two liters they use like from 300 to 500 grams of shiso leaves do you have any idea how many shiso leaves that represents guys i live in japan if i didn't have a friend who grows shiso and gives me shiso leaves it's expensive even in japan to buy shiso leaves now they are cheaper because it's the summer it's the season so we can get about 10 for 100 yen but usually it's about i would say it's from 100 yen to 200 yen, one to two dollars for 10 leaves. That is, you need a mountain of shiso leaves if you follow those recipes. And it turns out that the first time I made it, <laughs> I used only about 20 leaves and you get the shiso taste, guys. And it's really nice, it really makes a nice um, juice. So I'm going to show you both. I show you both recipes in that video. I have all the footage. I need to edit it now. Uh, and I explain everything. I tell you what you will find in most recipes and what I do or do not do because it's just like, I don't mind if there are some particles, like I don't drain it like they do in, the, in those recipes, but it's up to you, of course. Uh, you can compare what I do, what they do, and then make your own sauce, as we say in French. But the thing is that I don't think you can ever use as many shiso leaves as they do. It's impossible, unless you grow them in your garden. Okay. Can you flash dry shiso like you can with sage and capers on, on top of chicken? Yeah, of course. You know what I've done with all this shiso that my friend gave me? I've actually frozen it because I, di I honestly didn't want to use so much shiso to make just two liters of shiso juice. So I've made the small batches and then I'm going to be able to make my shiso juice over the next few weeks, a little at a time. The key is that you, you know, you try and put the air out as much as possible. That's the key when you freeze herbs. But I freeze herbs, now is the time to freeze herbs that we'll be able to use uh, during the winter, right? Um, then of course you can buy, I've never seen dried shiso like we can buy, you know, Herbe de Provence. That's a friend who gave me that when she went back to France, but, and it does come in handy, of course, but I've never seen a dried shiso. Uh, I don't know if you can find that. I mean, even in, J in Japan, I, I've never seen that because we can find it at uh, the supermarket, but, um, I believe you can find shiso, fresh shiso leaves. In that case, I mean, you will use less than you will see in the recipes. And also it's red shiso leaves very often that they use. Uh, my friend has green shiso leaves, so. Yes, freezing is, you can freeze basically everything. What doesn't work so well is things that have a lot of liquid and the moist things like tomatoes. Uh, you won't be able to keep them for so long, but you can freeze what we do in France when it's the summer. Uh, we stuff them with minced meat and then we freeze them and eat them. Then a few months we keep them, I think maximum something like three four months, really maximum, I would say. Um, but uh, yeah, I freeze stuff all the time because uh, it's very convenient. Uh, just have to be careful not to forget, to forget it in the freezer. Voila, voila, guys. So I hope that uh, you're well. You have to make the most of this uh, never-ending situation. Uh, so that's, that's why we are going to do more cooking. I'll be more Genki with the sun coming back, even if the rain is going to come back after that too. 
um, but the recipes that I can do live, I will do live. Patrons, uh, I think that I'm going to do our next uh, goodies tasting on Sunday. And also there will be for the very few of you who have the live chat thing, the live chat with Jennifer Thiers, that will be on Sunday too, because then we can munch on the things that I'm going to open during our goodies live. I think that the goodies live will be on, um, on your time, guys, for, that, for those who are on Patreon. Shut is up! He can say hello. Hi, hi, guys. Thank you for asking if I'm Genki always. I'm super Genki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, boy. Tu vas pas manger le poulet, c'est interdit. Too much seasoning for a sweet Yorkie like you. Hi guys, I was sleeping. Mama, I, I made them some chicken with no seasoning. We can eat that together. Are you leaking? No, that's horrible. Well, hi guys. Thank you so much. Check out the pictures later on on Instagram. It's time to eat for me now. It must be something like about uh, what 12:30. I hope you will make this recipe. Please leave a comment if you try it. It's so easy. If you have any questions, also don't hesitate. Uh, so if you have any suggestions, oh, for celebration, guys, 9K, we did it. Thank you so much. Welcome on the channel to the new subscribers. It's nice, 9K, it's a round number. Next uh, step is 10,000, uh, 10, I guess. Thank you, Mokanda. Thank you, anyways. Um, so we need to celebrate that, guys. I want to celebrate that with you. The problem is that I can't do that on the outside right now because of the state of emergency. So if you have any suggestions for a celebration at home, uh, please leave a comment uh, and we'll see what, what, what we can do, what will be best on us a petit chou. C'est cool, eh? Well, I'm happy, 9K at last. Huh? Voilà, thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the cooking. Skiaki, ouais. Skiaki à la Jennifer. But the thing is that, yeah, when I will feel like having some beef, we can do that. Maybe not uh, quite yet. Toujours les petits boutons à l'air. C'est pas un problème. Voilà, guys, you take care. Uh, and drinking party, yeah. Please, guys, put your suggestions also in a comment after the video because sometimes I miss some of the comments especially when I'm cooking sorry about that um, yeah drinking can do I think oh oh le hell me thank you so much I will see you again very soon uh, for another live stream and uh, stay tuned for the shiso juice video too I hope you checked out that other recipe, the recipe, the Sancho. That one is one of my favorites these days. Voila, thank you so much. Jimmy, bye. Jason, thanks for moderating. And um, à très, très bientôt. Le bisou de Charlie. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. A très bientôt. Take care. Bye, guys.